Hey guys, today I'm here to talk to you guys about how I keep my hair healthy and I've been using a bunch of different things in my hair or just literally not doing anything with my hair. I guess like my hair has gotten pretty long and it's gotten a lot thicker because of a lot of different things that I've been doing. I've talked about a few things in a few like favorites videos whatever but I just figured I would make this all into one video just to talk to you guys about it and see if you guys have any tips for me. I'm going to say two of my biggest things is what you put into your body and I'm I've talked about this I think last video where I was just like I have barely any discipline when it comes to my diet so I really make sure that I'm pretty like on top of taking my supplements all the time. Um, I'm taking this Phyto, Phyto Finera, I don't know how you explain it. They are uh, caplets, there's 120 caplets in here, they're for your hair and your nails. It's not just biotin, it's everything else that you need with biotin. So like when you're taking vitamins you always need something else to activate whatever you're putting into your body. So it has like all of that in one rather than it just being biotin alone. So I found that that's probably what's made the biggest difference in my hair lately. It's just help it grow, it just rejuvenates, it makes it stronger when it grows in. Um, it even helps my skin. I think that, I don't know, I think it kind of just works all over for you aesthetically. I just love it. The other thing is this vegan flaxseed oil. Um, this one is from Deva? I don't know. My dad had an extra, like he got two in the mail and I, I don't know, he was just like, he gave me one because I, I ran out of my, um, my flaxseed oils. This one is vegan just because it's better for you. So, um, I, whenever I take this, I find that my skin itself is actually really moisturized and my hair just feels a lot shinier. I think it's just that like the oils somehow are able to just make your hair healthier. It just makes your hair healthier, makes your skin feel better. I actually find that this helps with my moods as well, so I don't really know. Um, I don't know if that's just like all in my head. Maybe not. Um, but if you guys want, I can do a separate video on all the supplements that I take and talk to you about why I take them and what I feel works and which brands I feel don't work for me. The next thing is the obvious coconut oil. Um, coconut oil for me, I, to use it on my hair, what I need to do, I used to be able to use it as like, um, as almost like a heat protectant, but now I find that it makes my hair too greasy, especially because my hair is very thick now. So what I do usually is like at night if I wash my hair, so I usually take showers at night for the most part. Um, so... If I wash my hair, which I do every few days, I do not do that every day. Oh my goodness, if I did that, my hair would be like not even on my head right now. I use it as like a deep conditioner, but I seriously like soak my hair in it. Like that's like, I just, it's drenched in that and I keep it like that overnight. When I wash it out the next morning, I need to wash it out twice because I can't, if I just wash it out once, it's still too greasy. And then when I blow out my hair, like you still see it and it looks just like my hair is really dirty. Um, but it just works really great as a deep conditioner. It gives a nice shine to your hair. It puts some of that like bouncy elasticity stuff back in your hair and I think it works really well. But you definitely need to be careful and never do, never use it like the day of you needing to go somewhere because I just feel like it's going to make your hair like really gross. For those days where you do need to go out, I actually even use this on days where I do wash my hair. Like right now my hair was washed, actually my hair was washed last night. Um, but you can kind of see like it's just it gets PC because I'm constantly, you're, if you're like me, you're constantly going like this or you're going like this, whatever. Your hands are, get, all your oils from your hands are going onto your hair. I'm constantly flipping my hair all the time and my hair gets gross really fast. So I always keep dry shampoo in my bag. I actually like the little bottles of them because I find them just to be easier to travel with and I always need them when I'm out. I never really need them too much when I'm home. Um, I have a huge bottle of the Paul Mitchell dry shampoo, which I do love. And I also love the Batiste dry shampoo. Although you have to be careful when you're spraying that because that one comes out like really strong. But this one is the chlorine one. Um, I'm trying to think. I think I got this in an Ipsy bag. It's dry shampoo with oat milk. So it's a gentle formula. It says for brown to dark hair. This one, um, I don't have brown hair. I have red hair. I mean, it's hard to see it on camera sometimes. On camera sometimes it shows up a little bit more brown than it actually is. But they have like different tinted ones as well, which I think the tinted ones are nicer than the regular um, non-tinted ones, which the ones that I have from Batiste and Paul Mitchell are both um, just the pure white one, which sometimes can make your hair look a little gray or like dusty. So, you know, I think the tinted ones can be a little bit better for you, even though the the white can actually make it look like the oil isn't there as much but I just like spray just like a little bit like and then it's just like I just run it through my hair and if you see like it's already made like a subtle difference I don't know my next thing is to always make sure that you're using a heat protectant on your hair I know it's hard to keep that habit up 
um, but I'm it's just so worth it like once you stop doing it your hair is just gonna get so fried and if you just make a habit of doing it you'll do it all the time your hair is not gonna be dead you don't need as many haircuts your hair will stay thick it won't break as easily um, I'm currently using the Miss Universe collection, the Style Illuminate Moringa and Macadamia Oil. I switch on and off between this and my Moroccan Oil from the Moroccan Oil brand. Um, I like them both. To me, there's not really too much of a difference. They're both kind of heavier set things. I also like BioSilk. I have that not up here, but I, I sometimes I use BioSilk as well. It really depends on the day, to be honest with you. I find that the Chi one is a little bit lighter as far as styling my hair, so it doesn't weigh my hair down as much. So especially if I'm curling my hair, I'll use that one because I want my curls to stay bouncy and not feel heavy. So I find that that works out really well as well. Another one of my tips is that whenever I'm going into the sun, if, even if I'm just going for a walk or I'm going to the beach or whatever it is, um, I always keep a spray on me. So this is my Argyle Oil of Morocco spray. I talked about this in my Beach Bag Essentials video. And this is a weightless healing dry oil. They're not even kidding. It literally is weightless. You don't feel it on your hair at all. It's not like it doesn't make your hair look greasy. Your hair is totally fine and just as clean. Not only does it help with the frizzes, but it just helps. I feel like it's like a deep conditioning treatment. Like, you know, when you put the heat on your hair and then you put the, or you have the moisturizer in your hair, whatever it is, a conditioner, then you put the heat on your hair and it just helps your hair like soak that in more. Um, I just do that especially when I'm going out, especially when I'm going to the beach, unless you're someone who does your hair at the beach, like if you straighten it or curl it or whatever. Um, I find that curling it is totally fine, but I always leave my hair natural, so I just spray it everywhere. And as I told you guys, I only wash my hair, like, <laughs> I'm gonna say max twice a week. I know it sounds really gross, but if you're a girl, you totally understand. My thing with washing my hair is I'm trying to switch over to sulfate-free shampoos. Now, my sister's been using all of the one products lately. I actually told her to use it um, because she felt like her hair was a little bit dull and not so, like, vibrant or whatever the case is, and she's been loving that. I haven't been using that right now. Right now, I'm using... Um, it's from the Organics brand. It's like the Sea Mineral Shampoo and Conditioner, but it does still have sulfates in it, which is why I'm very careful about how often I wash my hair. Um, when you use a product that doesn't have sulfate in it, you definitely need to wash your hair more because it's not stripping your hair of those natural oils, so your hair does get oily a little bit faster, but it is so much healthier for your hair. And even with the WEN products, when you use it even though it's not stripping your hair and maybe you feel like it's not actually cleaning it if you blow your hair out it's going to be shiny but it's going to have that weightless look you're going to see that your hair just looks healthier it doesn't look greasy that's basically all i have to say about any of that stuff if you guys have any tips on how you keep your hair healthy please comment below i know that everyone has different hair textures my hair is um i have a lot of hair I'm not going to say it's, I mean my hair in general is very thick but each like strand I have like very normal to fine hair strands so it's just like I have a, just a lot of hair which is why my hair can be a little bit difficult to manage sometimes and everyone has different you know hair textures and whatnot and things that work for them but these are just my tips I hope that they helped you guys out and I will see you guys in my next video I think my next video is going to be a giveaway I don't know. There's going to be a lot of videos going on my channel very soon, so just stay tuned. Make sure to hit the subscribe button. If you guys haven't watched last video, click right here, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.